Why? Like, because he had to fight back through injury. Sabrina, listen. You didn't stop on me, Bane. Listen. You didn't stop on me, Bane. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of Spikes and Heels. I'm Gwen. And I'm Sabrina. And we were, first of all, we would like to say happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Just thankful for my friends, my family, our YouTube subscribers. And we just wish everyone to have a safe, safe, peaceful holiday. Yeah, we're thankful for a lot of things, you know, um, having jobs, businesses, family, friends, food. We don't have COVID, you know. Amen. It's a lot of things that could go the other way, but it didn't. So let's be thankful. thankful. Yeah, yeah, let's be thankful. Well, we were supposed to have a special guest today, but my skin pulled it out. You know what, Sabrina? You know what would be a great thing to do during this episode? What's that? Let's count how many times we say the word red skin. Well, we're not supposed to be saying it at all. Okay, so we're already at two, I think. <laughs> we're going to keep counting. Because okay. I'm like, I try so hard not to, but it's in me. Yep. Well, my Washington football team pulled it <laughs> off today. Mm -hmm. So there would be no special guest, which, which I'm grateful for because she wasn't going to be a nice guest. <laughs> yep. So we'll see. But moving forward... We would like to unveil our new Spikes and Heels logo t-shirt. We both have to stand up, so just be patient with us to show you. Ready? Ready. One, two, two three. three. Woo! <laughs> you see? It's our Spikes and Heels logo t-shirt. Women who love football. <laughs> and if that's you, these shirts will be available soon. Available soon, so... Um, keep on the lookout, keep watching because we're going to let you know how you can get one of these shirts too. But at the end of the show, we're going to tell you how you can enter to win one. That's going to be our first giveaway. Yeah. One of these Spikes and Heels t-shirts, either black or white. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. So let's get into the meet up and Sabrina, what game would you like to discuss first? Oh, let's see. What's on my list? We got so many. Did you watch the Colts and the Packers? I did. I did. Yes. Yes. Did it turn and out like you thought? I must say, Aaron Rodgers is a phenomenal football player. I believe he's my favorite behind maybe Lamar Jackson as far really? as quarterbacks. Okay. But he cannot do it alone. Correct. He is known for his fourth quarter um, um Comeback. comeback skills. He can he can bring he they can like I said in the previous episode, they can be down 20 points with five minutes to go and you still count them in. Mm -hmm. He had a minute and four he drove his whole team down the field in a minute and 14 seconds. Uh -huh, yep. And they scored the kick to tie the game, which sent it to overtime. He had a couple of overtime games, a couple of overtime games today. Yeah. But unfortunately, his wide receiver trying to do a little bit too much during overtime. Fumbled the ball. It was covered by the Colts. They went 10 yards, kicked the field goal, and the game was over. You know, and I always feel so bad. But I know they grown men. They can handle it. I always feel so bad when the players fumble in a crucial time. You know he's going to be at home thinking about that thing. He's going to be eating his cereal tomorrow. Right now. He's going to be eating his cereal thinking this, about it. In this moment, right here, right here. This thing right here. If you plan it over time, my whole thing is most of the fumbles that I see, Sabrina, I could be wrong because I don't watch all the games, but I watch a lot of football. Mm -hmm. It's when they trying to get them extra two yards. Just like, fall. Yeah. And give your team an opportunity to do it again. I feel like most of the times when the ball gets wiped or punched out by the defensive player, it's when they trying to push through and get them extra two yards. Now, if it's a, during a regular course of the game, third quarter, okay, but over time, you got to play it a little safe if you ask me, which is probably why I'm not a football player, because <laughs> I would get the full fall, get full fall. But as long as I keep moving, I feel like in my mind we're progressing. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with me? Have you, you know? I feel like you should fight for as many yards as you can get, but protect that football. You okay. got to protect the ball. When you see them coming to you, keep the feet moving, keep the legs moving, but wrap that thing up like, a, like this here. Wrap it like, up. It's your, like, it's your, like it's your mama's heart. Right. Wrap you it ain't going to let nobody punch that out. Nope. 
for your baby. Yeah, well, something. I, it was. It, I was so disappointed. But you're right. I do. I did feel sorry for them, for him in that moment because they just kept panning the camera on him. Poor and thing. I was like, let the man had his moment in peace. But man, he just blew it. Good. And they needed that one. Yes, they did because what are the Packers now? The Packers are seven, eight and three, eight and two, seven and three, seven and three. I want to say they were seven and two when the game started, so they're seven and three. Okay, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, so they needed that one because it's about mm -hmm. to get rough again to the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. The end of the season, all these games are count. But good thing it wasn't a divisional game. Yeah, but they still needed to win. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Good game. Good game. All right, guys, next up is our second overtime game for today, the Ravens and the Titans. The Ravens lost another game to the Titans. Um, and if I remember correctly, they are now in, second, they're in third place in their division, which is bad because they're in the division with the Steelers, who we're going to talk about later. Um, but uh, the Ravens have fallen today, and they better get it together quickly, or they may be on the outside looking in for the playoffs. So what did you get out of that game, Gwen? I just was watching the game like this doesn't look like the Raiders. I mean the Ravens to me. Mm -hmm. Like I, I last year I had high hopes for Lamar. Oh man, the same kind of hopes I had for RG three. Yeah. And, uh, and inadvertently they're both on the Ravens team. Now. Yes, they are. But yeah. I just had high hopes. But the but my ginger spot, my nice and sweet spot of this game was Des Bryant finally played. He finally played. He had Go four ahead. receptions for twenty eight yards. And yeah. even though I wanted my Ravens. I want the Ravens to win. Mm -hmm. I didn't want them to win with this. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm going to forever feel some type of way. I'm going to always picture him in that silver, white, and blue. You know what? I, 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 you know, I have to root for this a tiny bit. Why? You know, because he had to fight back through injury. Sabrina, listen. You didn't stop on me, Bane. Listen. You didn't stop on me, Bane. What? He was a, ugh. You, you have to think of that star. That's all I can see is that star. You have to think of the human part. He so had I to get it, but he didn't let us have it a couple of times. So I'm gonna need I might be on his bandwagon next year. Okay, we need to give it a little time. Give it a little time. I need a little time. I've been wounded. I'm I'm newly scarred. So I need a little time. But woo. I mean, I don't want the man to do bad. I just don't want him to be a you know, let him do something next year. <laughs> I know the Ravens fan like, come on, when you being petty, but ah, uh, it's days. I Got understand. To be somebody yo. Yeah. So let's talk about. Do you think the the Ravens are going to make the playoffs? They're in Ooh, the Sabrina. I don't know. The AFC yeah. is. If a they got to play the Bengals, the Bengals one more time. That's a win. Yeah. And I have to look at that schedule. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna say they're gonna be cut off. They might be hit the hunt. Yes. It's going to come down to them winning all of their remaining games because the still is up two more games and they're out of reach. Yeah. So my answer is yes, they're going to be in a wild card game. Yes. I think they're going to be um, six seed or fifth seed for sure. Yes. Wait, we I just forgot. Back it's it up. Seven. Seven. So they're definitely going to make it now. Yeah, I think they're right. going to make it now. This is something new, ladies and gents. They yeah. added seven teams go. Used to be six now to seven. So they definitely going to make it now. Mm-hmm. Because I, I can see them being top seven in the AFC. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. I just wish that they were up a little higher. Me too. Because you know? I want them to go further than a wild card game. Yeah. That would be nice. Guys, next up, we're going to talk about the 10 and 0. Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers. I know a lot of happy people. <laughs> I do too, mostly in my family. <laughs> yeah, my brother Malachi, and my your daughter, daughter Jasmine. Yep, and my girlfriend Shelly, who, by the way, came over earlier this week to see me for my birthday. She dropped by to say hey, and with one of my yes, it was Sabrina's friends. birthday this week last yes. Thursday. My Happy birthday, birthday Sabrina! Happy Thank birthday. you. November nineteenth was my birthday, and I wish I could have done a lot more, but you know, work and coronavirus shutting stuff up and whatever. But um. I'm this here now. We're going to store up all the, the jubilance for next year. Exactly. And speaking of birthdays, today, the November 22nd, it was Juju Smith Schuster's Ooh, birthday. Love me some Juju. <laughs> yeah. And he had a great game on his birthday, and it still is one, which yes. is probably the best birthday present. Not as if they thought they were going to lose. Mm, not to the I don't know. You know, that game, 
They was down a couple of points. I was like, yeah. wait a minute, but I thought it's Jaguar. Yeah, the Jaguars are one and whatever. Yeah. They only won yeah. one game. They only have one win, so yeah. yeah. And the Steelers won 27 to 3, rolling on, rolling forward. Yes, they are 10 0. So only six more games. Do you think they're going to end the season undefeated? I don't. I do not. Okay. That has not happened since 1972. So if you think, oh, if they could do it, they only have six games to go. It has not, no one has ever had a perfect season except for who, Sabrina? The Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins. Dolphins. Yeah. yeah. Miami. They had a perfect season and they went on to beat who in the Super Bowl? Let's not talk about that. <laughs> they mm. defeated us in the Super Bowl, so they had the perfect season, 17 0. We, the, I almost said the word. I almost had another. You got to say it because you get a bing. You got to say it. The red, we were 14 0. You know what? No, there was a year when we were fourteen and two, but I don't. Yes. Think, yeah, but so, yeah, and, and fourteen and oh, in itself is a is a is a huge obstacle. Mm -hmm. So imagine sixteen and oh, because now the regular season cons consists of sixteen games. That's so right. I seriously doubt if that record they may come close, but if they're not gonna. No, no, that I don't think they're gonna fans. finish undefeated. I and, don't see it either. And let's look up who they have for the rest of the year. The remaining games, next is the Ra Ravens on Thanksgiving night. That's, that's going to be a great game. game. Yes. That's going to be a – because that they are not only – do both of them need that win, but they're in the same division. Yes. So that's, that's going to be a great game. I hope I, – hey, who, who do you root for? <laughs> I, I know I'm who a, I would a, want ooh. to win. I think I'm one. I, I feel like I never want that Dolphins record broken. I'm sorry. You don't. You don't. I never. I want that to be something that everybody strives to get. But if a coach, if I ever wanted to root for somebody to break it, it would be Tom. I really like Mike. I think he's the greatest coach. He's the most underrated coach in the NFL. I really like him. He's been a consistent winner, sub five above five hundred you know, performance every year. I just, I really like Tom. Well, so, I, was, yeah. I guess I will, I changed my mind just in this last five minutes. I guess I will root for the Steelers to break it. Yeah, but I then that means they have to beat us and I can't go against the Redskins, so. Oh, that's another ding. ding. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I, I will say, I do want the record to be broken by whoever. Um, I like for the records to stand for a while and be great, but then somebody else comes and shows that somebody else can do it too. So I do want the record to be broken by who I don't know. Yes. But I don't know if it's, it's going to be the Ravens. But yeah, so they have the Ravens, they have mm -hmm. us, they have the Bills. That's going to be tough. Oh, yeah, because the Bills are playing this year. So. Yeah, and then they have the, the Bengals and then the Colts who just won today. This is not an easy road for Oh, them. nah. So, yeah. yeah. Who... On, still on the season can knock that un, off of their undefeated. The Ravens the, is their best shot. Or the Bills. I would say the Ravens. Yeah, the Ravens is the best shot because they know them. They're not intimidated by them. Yeah, the Ravens and then the Bills. So the Bills. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please send us comments. Who do you, do you think the Steelers are going to have an undefeated year? They're on their way. They're more than halfway there. Yes. Because they're, they're, they're 10 and 0. Mm -hmm. And so we'll see. But this game, Thanksgiving game, ma'am, I had that turkey ready. Yes. It's going to be a good year. Clock, Don't call me. <laughs> don't bother me. The, the, the bird is going to be on the table with the sides and everything. Happy Thanksgiving starts at 424. Oh, 424? <laughs> because don't the game start at 425? <sighs> she is so exact low. <laughs> Oh, Lord. So, yeah. I ain't even doing no Black Friday shopping this year. You know how they start on Thursday on Thursday? Uh -huh. mm -mm. It's, the football won't be too good this year. Yeah, it is. These are some good, good, good games. Good games. Yeah, yes. yeah. This is going to be a great Thanksgiving. So, should we talk about that next? Should we talk about the, two, the, 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 the football team and the Cowboys next? Let's talk about what they did today. Okay. So we finally won, which is why our special guest is not here, and I'm grateful she's not here. But in the win, there were a lot of positives and a lot of negatives. Did we win because Burroughs got hurt? I think so. I think the Redskins were struggling up until that point. And then I counted, Sabrina. There were three instances on 
on defense where we could have had takeaways early. And now, that's my credit, thing. The credit is due. I personally know Ronald Darby. He's, he went to school with my son. I met the young man twice. He is a nice young man. But I was waiting for him to have a breakout game. He had it today. Yep. He had it today. His name was being called all that first half. He had an opportunity to pick off a pass. Ac- Acre- Acne. Um, Acne. Mm-hmm. What's his name, Sabrina? Troy Apke. The safety that they benched and brought him back in. Troy, Troy Apke. Okay, yes, he had an opportunity, and Chase had an opportunity. You have to, you have to capitalize on them. Okay. But I will say, Sabrina, they did call your boy name a lot. And that's day. what I was going to say. My boy came up today, and he looked like he was ready. He was on that sideline looking real hokish and real fierce. I was excited. <laughs> I was happy. He was like, oh, real what? Hokish. He was real hawkish. <laughs> hokish. He was ready today. That's, that's the kind of chase I like to see. My boy Ryan, my boy Ryan got his sack today. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they played well, but I'm disappointed in the missed opportunities. Yeah, they won. Yeah, I should be happy. Some people say, just be happy they won. That's not it's, it. That's not but, it. Sabrina, did you look at our remaining schedule? This it's going to be doomsday. They got to get these little kinks out now. Because these are big, no, these, these aren't little kinks. kinks. They're big kinks. We play, we got the Cowboys, the Steelers, the 49ers, the Seahawks, the Panthers, and the Eagles. So out of them remaining games, we might make it to 5 and 11, but 4 yeah. and 12 look more promising to me if they don't get it together. Mm-hmm. Now, if they get it together, we can speak out some wins because the 49ers are suspect. Yeah. They haven't been a solid contender this year. Would it be in God's most infinite mercy and grace to let us upset the Steelers. That would be a modern day miracle. That's what it would be. <laughs> That's what it would be. That would be equivalent to parting the Red Sea, right? That they would they, <laughs> listen. They parting something because I that that would be a miracle if they did. I would be happy. Now, this schedule coming up is going. They got to get these kinks out. This schedule is a monster. Mm. Maybe we can get the 49ers and the Eagles. Mm, maybe. And and right now we're tied with Dallas. Dallas won today. Good for oh, them. Oh no. Um, anyway, so we're both three and seven heading into this Thanksgiving game. What do you think? Are we gonna win? We're gonna lose. What are we gonna do? Sabrina. Okay, we're gonna be honest. We're gonna be as honest as we honest can. as possible. Because okay. it's in AT&T Stadium. And because Andy is back. Oh, he's back. Yes, Andy played today. Okay. So Two things got to happen. We got to shut Zeke down, and Adam's got to have an exceptional game, and we're going to win. Here's the deal. I think we're going to shut Zeke down. I'm not worried about that. Who you worried about? The second part. I don't know if we're going to protect Alex. They're going to be coming at him. They, that offensive line has got to step up for us, or it's going to be a problem. I, this, this is, man, Achilles heel for us for a long time, but at least the left side was protected because we had Trent on that side. Mm-hmm. Now Trent is gone. Mm-hmm. So whoever they put on it, they it's man, I almost want to get out there <laughs> sometimes and protect the quarterback. I mean, I'm for real because it looks like they just let them men burrow them over. Like the object is to keep the other team from getting to your quarterback, not to give him a straight pass. Right. And I feel like put them in the weight room, do something. They eat Wheaties, get them some milk, do something. Give them, give them some of that stuff. Red Bull wakes you up before the game. Something. Because <laughs> to me, they sleep the first half. Mm. Like offense and defense to me. And that's another thing. What you just said, the first half. Once again, the Red, I go Redskins. On, on offense, they start very slowly. And they're doing these short yardage plays. They don't throw the ball down the field enough. That is so frustrating to me. But maybe Alex can't field. put enough pressure on that leg to keep. Because I know when you throw the ball, it got to be your way. That man throw. can throw that ball. I've but let's get it out there. We're going to have to do something because I'm not going to be sitting on no dry turkey choking because we lose. Wait. First of all, why is your turkey dry? Girl, bye. Let me holler at you. <laughs> I can't do the turkey. Oh, if I don't get that turkey fried, that, now the butterball in the bag would be juicy. But oh, wait, in a couple. Let's take a, let's take a little detour. So for Thanksgiving, are you going to cook your own turkey? Or you going to buy? I I 
heard that Popeye's Cajun fried turkey was out of this world. I've heard that. I've, I've never had it. I'm going to get me a Popeye's Cajun fried turkey. Okay. All right. Yes. I'm going to do the size, but I'm not doing the meat. Again. Me and one twin, one of my kids. Okay. So the, okay. All, the rest of them are having um, Thanksgiving in Pennsylvania. So oh. it's just me and one of my, my, one of my twins. Okay, Gwen has a set of twins, everybody. I have a set of twins, 16 year old set of twins. Yes. So, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to do like a Cajun turkey in a couple of sides and call it a day. But remember, okay. don't call me 424. I'm going to call her at 423. <laughs> 423, yes. I'm calling. Yes. Are you cooking, Sabrina? Are you having gas? I am. I've gone shopping already because I didn't want to wait till the last minute. It was going to be crazy in the stores. So I've bought everything it's going to be a very small it's going to be my family of four so what's your specialty i don't know if i have uh, my turkey usually turns out pretty good that's funny you're not cooking your turkey and nah, I, i'm not good at turkey but them sides be slamming my 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 yams are world renowned and that's the one it's funny i'm frying at the mac and cheese i'm fine at the rice i'm fine at the mashed potatoes my yams, they all right. I did they need a little work. My yams are work now. My family won't eat until one day I was sick or something or had a too, little too much, too much eggnog. <laughs> so I went to sleep and it was 7 o'clock at night and they were like, we not eating until you make them yams. Wow. It was just like that. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to a nice quiet Thanksgiving this year. Yeah. And just type in the comments what you all are going to do for Thanksgiving, what you're cooking, not cooking. Tell us all about your Thanksgiving. Yeah, party. it'll be nice because this is going to be the first social Thanksgiving where I don't have to give on FaceTime to have a Thanksgiving prayer with my family. Yes. So I'm looking forward to reading um, comments and seeing how everyone else, this is unprecedented, the times we in. So it'd be nice to see how everyone got through it. Yeah. 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 Okay, back to football. If we can shut Zeke down and Alice can have a, a, a phenom, an exceptional game, mm -hmm. we could probably pull it out. But it's something about AT&T Stadium and Thanksgiving. The Cowboys have been playing on this day since I've been watching football. Two teams that always play on Thanksgiving are the Detroit Lions and the Dallas Cowboys. And let's talk so about this that. I think they should switch that sucker up. We want to see some variety. Why don't the I think that's why they added the Sunday night game. Yeah, I don't think they're but, ever going to get away because it used to be only two, but now we get the Thursday, the Sunday, I mean, the, the Thanksgiving Thursday night game. So I think that's why they added that. I don't remember that happening in the past. That just recently happened. So why don't the schedule make a different thing? I think that they should, um, because they make the schedules, I think that they should purposely put division, three division games on Thanksgiving. They can do that. They did. They did us in Dallas, the Ravens in the Pittsburgh, and the but, Lions in whoever. But it's not. I think I'm saying it's, it's not always like that. It, that should be a rule. Oh yes, you're right. I mean, it you're shouldn't right. always be Cowboys and Lions. It should be whoever. Got it. Got it. I think. Well, maybe we should write in. Who are we gonna write to, Roger? I don't know somebody. Mm. So someone this week asked me, "What is your YouTube channel about? What is your show about?" Mm -hmm. And I had to pause for a second because it's women who love football. I don't think, and this came from a male. He didn't understand why we would need, have the need for a Viking Hill show. And I said, because whenever you turn anywhere, you always see males talking about mm -hmm. football, going to the game, hyping, hyping each other up, out of the bar. But females, we have always taken a back seat to the gas because we can't play the game. We, we don't play the game, so I think we have taken a back seat. But you'll be surprised at how many females on any day of the week mm -hmm. you go out in public yeah. and you'll see a female not wearing it. I mean embodying <laughs> everything from the hat to the face mask to the socks and shoes. Everything. And I just love it. So whenever I see and get an opportunity to meet women that love football, I, I introduce myself, I tell them about Spice and Hills, and then I ask to take their picture. Yes. And so you ran into someone recently. Let's yeah, her name was Carol. Carol. And I was at Walmart getting my usual detergent and water. Mm -hmm. And I happened to go up the aisle because I needed a filter. And she was there. I mean, from head 
to toe. Yes. And I could just feel something saying, don't let this opportunity pass you up. And even through COVID, I wanted to get in the picture with her because mm -hmm. I had on almost the same exact outfit, mm -hmm. but I gave, I social distance and took her picture and I was just surprised. And you had a running just recently too, Sabrina. Yeah, about two days ago, I was at the Chick-fil-A getting my usual nuggets and fries. And I was in the car because I did the curbside pickup. And this lady walks out of her car and up to the, the window or whatever. And she was red skin from the hat to down to the shoes. So this picture here that we're showing you now is Miss Victoria. And I asked her if we could show her and she very gladly said yes and did her little pose. So Victoria, I just want to say, hey, you are on the Spikes and Heels show like we promised. So <laughs> Victoria and Carol. That's right. And you and that's just one of the many women I see. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I don't have the opportunity to engage because they may be moving or I may be, but it I'm I'm noticing there is a huge uptick in female and for with that love football. Yeah. So to answer one of my good friends' question, there is a need for this. We thought it would be fun, entertaining, and we can show the woman's perspective, not just for females. But it's nice to hear football from a female's perspective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. There have been many times I've gone to events at people's houses and it was a Sunday and the game was on. And the women would be in one room talking and chatting and the men would be where the game was. And I, and I would be with the men. Yeah, and I felt bad because I wanted to watch the game, but I didn't want the guys to think, why is she in here? She just with us. But was she... But I genuinely wanted to watch the team. Me too. It's I don't care about no Birkin bags. I didn't catch the, Mac the Macy's Black Friday sale. No. I want to see what my skin's doing yeah. and what my Steelers doing and my Seahawks doing. Let's show them the shirts again. One more time. We're going to show you. Time. Ready? Spikes and Heels ready. Because I got to push the computer back. And here we go. Spikes and Heels. We are official. Yes. <laughs> okay. Love it. <laughs> well, like I said earlier, in case you didn't see that part, we're going to make the shirts available very soon. So stick, stick with us. And guys, up next, we are going to talk about the Thursday night game that passed between the Cardinals and the Seahawks. Division game, great game, came down to the fourth quarter. Um, Gwen, what are your comments on that game? I was just saying, because last week we were saying how the Seahawks were in third place. Mm -hmm. And see how one win in, within your division can move you to first place. Which is where so they are. They're in first place right now, we, where they should be, where I want them to be. Because Correct. again, the Seahawks, the Seahawks are my pick to, to um, represent the NFC and the Super Bowl this year. Okay. I guess Russell must have heard me and um, got away from Seattle because he was playing a little bit better. She could let her tend to win and the other kids, little future and all of them. You do football. Oh, Lord. Because something is a Sabrina. That man was fumbling like that. That ball was a hot potato the last couple of weeks. <laughs> he was off. Something was clearly yeah, wrong. It was. It was. He was very And I off. think they gave him an intervention. Like, we just gave you a hundred and something million dollars, dude. Come on here. Produce. Produce and and they get these contracts and then everything goes south. They stop playing. They st and you said it's mental. I think. Do you think they get content? Like I got my money mm -hmm. now. I think some people do get content. I don't see him as that type of person. Me Russell either. Wilson he wants to win. He wants to win. He wants to lead. He wants to be an example. I just think he was pressing or too much. I don't know, but mm. and someone asked. What what was the most the worst call that you and Sabrina was talking about last week about the Seahawks? Mm -hmm. So let's segue and take a two minute um, sidebar into that conversation. Okay, they were in the Super Bowl. They were playing the New England Patriots. The Seahawks were on the one yard line. They have Mashawn Lynch in the backfield, and his name is Beast Mode. Oh, yes, this dude could run over anybody. Mm -hmm. With one yard to play with 10 seconds left in the game, I might be over exaggerating about the time. They rustled whoever the offensive dude is, decided to throw the ball, and they threw the ball and they got intercepted by the, the New England Patriots and they won the Super Bowl. So Russell basically, was one yard or one play away from his second Super Bowl win. So basically, what we're saying is that instead of doing the obvious, easy, guaranteed thing, 
they did too much trickery trying to out psychologicalize. That's not a word. Out psychologicalize. Yes, it is. It's, that's it is. We could use that word. Out psychologicalize. I'm gonna make up one. I done make up several. <laughs> so, <Yes. laughs> I pray to God ain't nobody keep a record because we're out. Um, I'm gonna have to check that. I'm gonna have to check. At least as long as we don't use what's your Sabrina has this thing about people that speak. Never. The so one word that get under Sabrina stuff. Don't never and be just say it simultaneously, Sabrina, so we can so I can call it out with you. One, two, three. Irregardless. irregardless. <laughs> never say irregardless around me. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Get back. I digress. Get anyway. back to football. So that's the play that I was talking about. It was one of the worst calls in I think the history of the Super Bowl. There's mm -hmm. no way with Mashawn Lynch in the backfield who had won rushing yard records mm -hmm. the previous year that had won the Super Bowl that you would not give the ball to him with one yard to go to run it in. Mm -hmm. They up to throw it. It was intercepted. The, the Patriots win their sixth Super Bowl. Yeah. Their fifth. That was their fifth one. Because mm -hmm. they won one more after that, right? I believe so. But that was their fifth ring. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's the play that everybody's like, what was that play? That's the play I was talking about. Mm -hmm. No, really, it's one of those things where he probably felt like they just assume we're gonna run. We they assume so we're gonna give it to Marshawn, mm -hmm. so we're gonna do something different. Mm -hmm. That's I when think you got Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. That's a good assumption. I I agree. Give it to that that man earned that name. Yeah. Why would you with a y'all? If, if Russell could have got a y'all just leaping over the pile. Mm -hmm. It was, I would never. And I could day. still see in my mind, oh my gosh, um, Dre. Like, I was stuck. Like, what's his name with the dreads? I could see his face. Like, I, he could, he was. Um, Sherman. Richard Sherman. His face looked like, what, what? in the world did we just do? Yeah. I never I get that. I believe things was never right with, with Sherman and the organization after that. And I believe that's one of the reasons why he left. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm glad to see they're back on the winning. They're on the winning. Yeah, we will see what see happens that. as the season goes on. Now, Sabrina, we come to that part of our segment. We're going to do our first official giveaway. Yes, we are. We're going to give away one of our new Spikes and Heels t-shirts that we showed you earlier. And if you want to win one, there are three things you have to do. You have to be a subscriber and we're going to check the list and check it twice. See if you're naughty and nice. You have to be a subscriber. You have to like this video that we're looking at now, that you're looking at. And you have to leave a comment in the section below. So be a subscriber, like this video and leave a comment. And then next week, we're gonna be on the next show and we're gonna put all the names of those who meet the criteria in a bowl or something. And we're gonna draw it and show it right on the screen so you can see it. And Sabrina is gonna draw due to social distancing. We won't be, we can't be in the same room, obviously, as yeah. we have been doing it since we started. But Sabrina is gonna pick the name. So we're gonna do it live on our next Sunday show. Okay, yeah. So remember, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and leave a comment. Yeah, we're going to be looking out to see who's going to win the shirt. We're so excited. We want you to have one. We definitely want you to have one. Yes. Male or female. We can do either or. It doesn't have to be a female shirt. That's Male right. So we have on V-necks because, you know, we're girls and we like to do that. But if you're a guy, we can do like... Let me show off our pretty necklaces. Which I don't have <laughs> nothing. I have skin. But, <laughs> but we have guy shirts too. So That's true. Mm -hmm. We do. So everybody, enjoy your Thanksgiving, eat lots of food, be safe, and leave comments about what you're doing for Thanksgiving. We want to see what you are doing. And, and if content. anybody got a new recipe for succotash, succotash. I will, man, my mama got this strange love with succotash, don't ask me why. And, and I haven't been able to put my finger on the proper ingredient. So yeah. if anybody got recipe for succotash maybe they can lead that too succotash for those i know people, right i ain't sabrina when the last time you even heard when my grandfather was alive he, <laughs> listen that was a cooking man he used to make that succotash and i don't even a llama bean person he the succotash for those who don't know is a llama beans and carrots i'm carrots corn, corn. llama beans and corn wait and, a minute then it's sauerkraut i'm talking about 
It's what? that second time. It's sauerkraut. It's the, the, the celery stuff. Sauerkraut? It's vinegary. Sauerkraut. That's what I'm talking about. Your mother likes sauerkraut? Girl, bye. And I cannot get in. She always got me like, man, nah, nobody make that stuff. Then I try to fool the one year and get it straight out the can. She knew. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, come on now. Who is sauerkraut? Thank you, Sabrina. Mm -mm, no, thank you. But, man. Well, bye, everyone. We love you. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy belated birthday, Sabrina. So let's get right into it, baby. All right. <laughs> 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 ah, why can I just get this together? It's okay. It's a blooper. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> <laughs> Our first giveaway. What are we giving away? A Spikes and Heels official logo t shirt. Spikes and heels t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> now yell at me, yell. Sabrina! <laughs> oh my gosh. Say it again. Yeah, say it again. Sabrina! Bina, bina, bina! Bina, bina!